But now the bomb. But where is the bomb? to the first movie reaction of 2023. My name is Jeroen, better known as Dutch Pawn Fan and joining me in the new year once again is my beautiful girlfriend Lirit. Hi, good morning. <laughs> Today we are watching 1987's The Living Daylights, the first Bond movie of a new actor, Timothy Dalton. Yes. Are you excited? I am excited. This is his first Bond film. Right. And I already saw the License to Kill. Yes, films. correct. License to Kill we did in the old format uh, a couple of years ago. We will still do that in the new format too. It's been a couple of years since you yes. saw that anyway. I've already forgotten. So it will almost be like a first time reaction. But first we're getting into The Living Daylights. Yeah. It's been seven Roger Moore movies, a yes. lot of him. The previous one you did enjoy a lot with the exception of The Bond Girl. The first Bond Girl in history you gave no stars. How? <laughs> yeah, what are your <laughs> expectations for uh, the Bond girls or not? Or your hopes for the Bond girl in this one? I think they will get better. Not that bad as the other one. Yeah, I think you, that was the low was, point. Yeah. It, it, it can only go up from here. It was so sad. Yeah. If you are interested in the full-length reaction, you can join me and Lyrit on Patreon. As a premium supporter, you can see the full-length reactions and synchronize your own copy of the movie with our reaction and see the whole thing there if you are interested. Uh, also, you might see uh, a famous actor in this movie that you know. They're um, all famous, right? They're all famous, that's true, but one that you in particular would know. So, uh, yeah, let's delve into that movie. There he is! The new 007. The new 007. Yeah. Now the SAS have been placed on full alert to intercept you. But I know you won't let me down. Yeah, right, when they don't see them. This is an exercise for the double O agents. A real exercise. Yeah. So this is Gibraltar. It's just a rock south of Spain, basically, but it's mm -hmm. its own country. There's monkeys there. Game's up, mate. You're dead. <laughs> Explosives, I think. But then it's already like. It has to go off already. Nothing but playboys and tennis pros. If only I could find a real man. Who are you? Bond, James Bond. Exercise control 007 here. I'll report in an hour. Won't you join me? 
Better make that two. <laughs> so he said to her, better make that two drinks, and to them, better make that two hours at the same time. I think it's cool. Tarun Krabbe. Yep, he's in this as well. A Dutch one. Yeah. This uh, this song is performed by Aha, who is also did take on me. Oh uh, yeah. Take, take on, on me. The living daylights. Saunders, head of Section V, Vienna. You're bloody lit. <coughs> You're bloody lit. Where's our man? In the box between the KGB minders. It's the bad guy. You have a look. Lovely girl with a cello. Forget the ladies for once, Bond. Turn off the lights. This is cool. That's a cool jacket. I think the, what's his name, David Sriski has the jacket. David Sriski has the jacket? I, think I don't so. think so. Not? Uh, no, but he would love it, I think. Why me? He's under the impression you're the best. Where's the car? Already, he's much darker, right, than yeah. Roger Moore. A real professional, which I always like about his Bond. Sniper, two floors up, center window. Ah, it's the girl with the cello. Yeah. Kill her! Kill her! Shoot her! What are you waiting for? <laughs> you missed deliberately. Why did he miss, sir? Huh? Yeah, that you'll find out. Oh, she's hurt. See, he hit her hand. Yeah. Where is he? In the boot. First place they'd look. But my escape route dropped. James. James Bond. Later, Jen. <laughs> Are you taking him? How will you get him out? Sorry, old man. Section 26, Me paragraph too. 5. Yeah. Need to know. Sure you understand. <laughs> yeah, he's like a bureaucrat. He just yeah. got him back. He only knows like, read the books, but he doesn't know how to activate like the goggles and everything. Also a woman. Rosie Kamilkas. Our man here. Um. <laughs> we must hurry. Get him in the pig. The pig? This pig? Scouring plug to clean out the pipeline. If you open valve before 100, he will... <laughs> he will be bursh. To take care of the supervisor. When pig goes, his control panel will light up like Christmas tree. <laughs> will light up like Christmas tree. So she needs to distract the guard. Good with her body, yeah, of course. <laughs> and there goes Kelsey. There he goes. <laughs> Welcome to Austria, General. Uh. Come on. Why is he mad? Because he planned the escape route and now Bond made a better one. He wanted to put him in the boot. <coughs> you wouldn't get him over the border. No. Excuse me. They're actually checking the boot, you see? Yeah. So that would have failed. And now he's going to the UK? Or what? Yeah. Fires me off thanking for it. Whoever she was must have scared the living daylights out of her. <laughs> so she was not a professional. She, yeah. He saw it. There's, there, was some, there was some plot behind How it. How she... Yeah. Fascination methods, strangulation with hands or thighs. Roger. That's a... Uh, Xenia on the top. Yeah. They'll use it later. Secret information around Look, here. the new money Specialist pen. child impersonation. <laughs> Something we're making for the Americans. It's called a Get ghetto blast. blast. <laughs> He's 
come to be killed. Walk, man. Good morning, sir. That's the Aston Martin that Bond uses in No Time to Die. It's from this film. Hmm. <laughs> Did you saw that? Yeah. <laughs> Some personnel overcome. Evacuate immediately. Send for emergency medical services. He's asking six times for Green Force. Yeah. Stupid. Stupid. Now look at this. There's another trick up his sleeve. That's just stupid. <laughs> Explosive milk yeah, bottles. Yeah, but that's just. That's. You know what? Uh, MI6, MI7? I don't care, but. Um, and you're asking six times? That's a major breach. Move. Move. The security is not good. Not good at all. He could already said help this guy. Oh. <laughs> Do you recognize him? Yes, but I don't know where. Do you want me to tell you? Yes. He plays Sala in Indiana Jones. Oh, yeah. But here he's Pushkin. He, he's the bad guy here. He's the new head of the KGB. Blanks. Yeah. We had to play at the conservatoire yesterday. It was exquisite. About Yorkie Costco. Is that a man? They would have just let her die if Bond killed her. So clearly she doesn't care he doesn't care about her. If Bond would just followed orders, he would have killed an innocent girl. There she goes. She's already in the car. It looks like we got away with it. My cello. It's at the conservatoire. Don't worry, I'll get you another in Vienna. No, we must go back for it. Oh my god, wife! This is your life. Oh, picked it up. They're looking for a foreign car. A man and a woman. And a cello. <laughs> and a cello. <laughs> of course the Russians are driving Ladas. <laughs> She's like, what's happening? What happened? Salt corrosion. She's just a regular girl. What is this? I've had a few optional extras installed. <laughs> See what this leads to. A map. This road only leads to the lake. Does he has like gadgets for a lake? I think so. <laughs> He's going to make a. Of course, right. I knew it. The whole army for two people. Brace yourself. They want to try. Glad I insisted you brought that cello. They're going to slay in it. 
That's cool, right? I knew it. We've nothing to declare! That's the cello! cello. And they're in the West. <coughs> they can't go here. How do you like my personal pantheon of great commanders? Great commanders. The first one was Hitler. Yeah. This is the equivalent of a modern maxim. Third generation. Oh, he's like a... How do you call that? A wapenhandelaar? Arm stealing? Yeah. Let's buy it. Don't joke. Who will pay? Jorgi, of course. <laughs> oh! We have to report. So? So? <clears throat> Jeroen Krabbe was not a good guy. Yeah. So Bart was right not to kill the woman. And he's dead. We should go to the top of a Ferris wheel. Romantic. We already did that. It was too scary. <laughs> yeah, during the day we could do it in the night. Where's Wood Canal? At his place in Tangier. Well done. guy that plays Sala again, Pushkin, smeared to be on him. It's just to frame him. May I ask why? Smeared to be on him. Smeared to be on him? That is a security matter and cannot be discussed. That was damn stupid! <laughs> He's not messing around, this Bond. He's a lot harder than Roger Moore, right? Like yeah, a real I don't professional. Like that. I do like that. It's very different after seven moves. From your comrades in Soviet Union. He's not dead. He's an armor. They staged it. To make Koskov believe that Bond obeyed the orders of MI6. You looking for a party? Seems like a good idea. They're bad. Never get in a car with strange people. <clears throat> but he is Bond. He, he's Bond. But he especially wants to find out when where he needs one, to go. one is in the back and one is in the front. But he needs to find out where to go, so he knew yeah. he needed to do this. But also, look at this. What the hell are you trying to do? I'm right, no, right? No. Start World War Three. Felix Leiter. The CIA. They're on his side. Yeah. Did I get it right? Mm, perfect. She's not drinking. KGB agent using me to find him and kill him. No, that's not... That's not true. I... Something in his drink. As I told you, she's not drinking. You got that when the rifle was shot out of your hand. How do you know? Because I was the. I was the I man who sent to kill you. Kara, my darling. You are absolutely perfect. So who does he trust now? Him or Bond? Nobody. She's naive. Jesse Bondo. <laughs> Diamonds hidden in the ice. <laughs> oh. Ah. Oh. See, she is she is much more capable than James from the previous one. Mm -hmm. For a regular girl, right? She's not an agent, she's just a musician. Yeah, 30 seconds. Oh. 
It didn't work with him. It did. It, that was about 30 seconds. It's just a brief moment. <coughs> Do something! Why isn't she doing... She is. Close it! We're free. Kara, we're inside a Russian airbase in the middle of Afghanistan. I tried the small key. They're not free yet. Jump. Ah! What's going on? I tell them you're not Russian. They don't kill you now. Not now. How about later? Don't worry. They're lucky they saved him too. He showered. Now, who are you? I work for the British government. <laughs> <laughs> to purchase American high-tech weapons. Arms that could be used against you and your men. So he wants to go back to the... It's too dangerous. Don't go. I have to. You have to what? Get killed? What is that? Opium. Why isn't she covering her face? <coughs> they would recognize her. Yeah, luckily they don't. <laughs> Get out of there, maybe. Bond. Bond. Don't shoot! Don't destroy the plane! Ten minutes, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he has to fly the plane himself. Is going on the airplane. Yeah! She's thinking that he is leaving her behind. Well, that this is why I, she reminds me of you. She, she, she keeps saying, like, we're in this together, and she just wants to be with him. And that's your personality as well. She's taking the jeep. The blunt one is also there. How did he survive? Yeah, the that, that's always my How? question as well. Ten minutes, right? That's already ten minutes. What are you doing? If you a bomb. We are him. <laughs> were left? 13 seconds. <clears throat> it's not that smart of her. No, that was a mistake. <laughs> so the blonde one is going to die with the opium. <clears throat> and James Bond is safe. And then they will fly away. <laughs> oh, one and a half minutes. Ah! Please, no. Ah! Oh, without the opium, okay. With a shoe. But now the bomb. But where is the bomb? Like 
in his airplane. Ah! Where are you going? Drop a bomb. Come on, come on. He still has the bomb, he can activate it again. We're losing fuel fast. You can still fly with one uh, propeller. How about this? Go in the back, get in the jeep. Quickly! They're going to fly out with the jeep, so poof. They have no choice. <laughs> yeah. I know a great restaurant in Karachi. <laughs> Islamabad of Karachi. He knows great places everywhere. Of course. Hold it. Whitaker. Now Koskov survived as well. Yeah. There he is. He's one of the statues. No, he's inside, you can hear him. Oh. You burned up a half a billion bucks. Mm -hmm. Bucks? He's American? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they said it, American arms dealer. Waterloo. <laughs> General Pushkin. Thank God you're still alive. <laughs> he wants to play. He wants to still play. Put him on the next plane to Moscow. Oh, thank you, General. Thank <laughs> you so much. Thank you. In the diplomatic bag. <laughs> what about Kara? She is a defector, too. What shall we do about her? She wants to play in the... Vienna. Yeah. I think in reality, if there's a bullet hole in an instrument, it wouldn't sound correct anymore. No. For a movie, it's fine. It's Carmelo. There's Gogol, the old KGB. Excuse me. Her friends from yeah. Afghanistan. We had some trouble at the airport. <laughs> imagine why? Uh, General Gogol, I... I can't imagine why. Back then you could still make jokes like that. You didn't think I'd miss this performance, did you? Okay, that yes. was The Living Daylight. <coughs> What did you think? What are your initial thoughts of Timothy Dalton's first uh, 007 adventure? He's darker than the rest. He is, yeah. He's definitely the most uh, realistic Bond. They call him like the precursor to what Daniel Craig did. He did it first, kind mm. of. The more violent and realistic that Craig does as well. Yeah. Um, shall we get into it or do you have some more thoughts to share before we start? No. <laughs> All right, then we go straight away into Bond's performance. Timothy Dalton as James Bond 007. What did you give him? Three stars. Three stars for Timothy Dalton. I was hoping for more, but um, yeah, I guess uh, you can't win them all. No. So, what did you think of him? Well, I like the other ones better as James Bond. Mm. He was very dark, this one. Yeah. I didn't like that very much. No, you like the more light-hearted, actually. Yeah. 
Yes. It's funny because I remember in the first format when we did Goldfinger, you said it's too cartoony, I need something more realistic. Then we went to License to Kill and you liked it better. Mm -hmm. And now, ironically, Goldfinger still is your highest rated movie, ironically enough. And For you, now, I think. For now, yeah. <laughs> so, but you, you preferred the realistic, so it shifted. So Roger Moore kind of... Well, I you... saw all the other ones now. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, all right, Sorry. Dalton didn't win your... Well, was there something you did like about him? He stayed with one girl. That's true, yeah. In this film he did. Yeah. Um, and also I like the, the part where he's using the sniper and he puts the jacket on and the professional, you know, he's, <laughs> he's, he's not messing around, you know, when he, he's not kidding. Yeah. So you can tell like, oh, this guy could really kill someone. With Roger Moore, he's more like... You know, the nice guy, you, you couldn't yes, believe he would kill. True. So this is definitely a more believable professional secret agent. Um, moving on to the Bond girl, Kara Milovi. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully you'll give her a star. How much did you give her? Well, I wanted to give her one star. Oh, man. But I gave her two stars. You gave her two stars. Okay, that, well at least she's got stars. So that's still uh, a couple of steps up from uh, Stacy Sutton previously. Yeah, that's too bad and sad. What did you think of her? <coughs> she was naive and sometimes not smart. <laughs> right. But she was a normal girl. Yeah. And if I were in her shoes, I think I would be... Probably the same one. Yeah, I think who so. Do, who does that kind of thing? So that's why she got two stars for me. Yeah, like I said in the in the review, she kind of reminded me of you as well in a in a good way. Not not by appearance. Obviously, you're not blonde. You, you do have brown <laughs> eyes, just like her. Mm. But I mean, in the way that. Um, you know, she's fully committed to Bond and she's just involved in this plot, kind of like how you are suddenly involved in this movie reaction. Mm -hmm. So it's... <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, um, she's one of my favorite Bond girls. I really like... she's different. She's not just another secret agent type. She's more... and she's capable as well in her own way. And she's a talented magician, another <coughs> reason she reminds me of you. So yeah, but two stars, we'll take it. Uh, moving <laughs> on to the villains. There were multiple villains in this movie. Yes. What did you think of them? Three stars. Three stars. It's pretty good, actually. I would have given them less, probably. <laughs> so what did you think? Well, there was a Dutch one in it. Jeroen Krabbe, yeah. He didn't die. He was a cockroach. <laughs> yeah. Maybe in a diplomatic bag means they would kill him, but yeah, it's kind okay. of implied. But he played it well. He wanted to go to the good side and then he was ultimately at the bad side. Yeah, and then you have uh, the arms dealer, Brad Whitaker. Oh yes, that one also. And you have uh, the blonde guy who was yeah. killing everyone with a Walkman. Yeah, <coughs> and explosive milk bottles. Yeah, the KGB you had. It's mostly those three. Oh, yeah. Because Pushkin didn't turn out to be a bad guy. He was actually just like Gogo, just a new replacement. Uh, it's funny you said that Jeroen Krabbe did a good job. I, I thought he was not believable as a Russian. He didn't have a Russian accent. He was so... Because I know him from TV, how he is. He's so over the top. Oh, James Bond, thank God you're alive. But how did they, like, booked him as a actor? Well, they was... have like Russian actors, right? Right. And you know, you know in Goldeneye they're doing another Dutch actress who plays a Russian. I yes. think she's much better as Jeroen Krabbe as a Russian. She but does the there accent. There are Russian actors. Yeah. I don't know what their fascination is. We'll get a Dutch person for a Russian general. We have no relations to each other. No. But um, yeah. So Jeroen Krabbe, three stars. Um, not only him. Not only him, and Brad Whitaker. Yes. Keep remember the face of Brad Whitaker because you may you will see him show up in a future Bond film. Okay. In a different role, <coughs> obviously, because he died in this one. 
And you already saw that film, but you must have forgotten. But you'll see when we get to that in the new format. Okay. So, moving on to the locations in The Living Daylights. What did you think of the locations? Three stars. Three stars for the locations. Yeah. Yeah, do you think it was filmed well? Did you like where this was taking place? Well, they said they were in Afghanistan. In the end, yeah? Yeah, I don't know if that that's for real, but... I never saw a bomb movie in Afghanistan and they save like, someone from there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and yep. we're in London, where else? Vienna. Vienna. Yeah. Where else? Uh, Morocco. Morocco. And of course, the opening scene was in Gibraltar, which yeah. really was in Gibraltar. Obviously, you can you can tell. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I like the opening scene as well in this movie with uh, the exercise on the, oh, yeah. the rock of Gibraltar with the parachuting. Yeah. So yeah, no, great film in my opinion. There mm. were a lot of locations. Yeah, absolutely. So we're moving on to the story mm -hmm. uh, in the Living Daylights. What did you think? It was three stars. Three stars. I was hoping for more. I think this is a really good spy thriller. But, um, you know, in the vein of For Your Eyes Only and From Russia With Love. But what did you think of the story? I got irritated by the... Um, in that castle. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> when they... When that, that was actually later turned out to be a plot, to, so he was actually his ally saving Koskov, and Koskov was pretending to be kidnapped, but it was all planned. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they did it professionally. They fooled us. But you were irritated by the security. Yes. You're what? Am I six? So that story doesn't. You thought fit they should have me. responded faster with the yes. walkie-talkie. Yes, it, it was a breach. You're not asking six times to one of the agents there. Are you okay? Do you copy? Yeah. <laughs> Do you copy? <laughs> no. <Yeah. laughs> but the rest of the story, it was a pretty good one. Yeah. Yeah, I like how <clears throat> an innocent Bond girl is involved in this and she just thinks, you know, she's the bo the boyfriend of, yeah. of someone she's who she's clearly him, being she's used. Yet yeah. she was just set up to be killed by, by Bond, but Bond had his instincts on the right place mm -hmm. knowing she wasn't a professional KGB killer at all, but just, you know, a musician. So he deliberately did not shoot her yeah. to kill. So yeah, no, great story and it keeps you um, going back and forward thinking. And not a lot of Bond yeah. films do that. Mostly it's obvious straight away who the villains and are. And also with the villains, they keep changing and you yeah. have to think. Yeah. So. And of course, there is the great action scene with the cello down uh, the Oh east. yes, yeah. yeah. The sleigh. Yeah, that was cool. And they, they go across the border. We have nothing to declare. Only the cello! Yeah. Cello, cello. <laughs> yeah. Couldn't you practice not the violin? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so that was, uh, that was great. Um, moving on to uh, the final section of this. How did you enjoy The Living Daylights? I'm giving two stars. Two stars. Such a shame, but... Um, yeah. So it wasn't the most enjoyable barn film to you? No, a couple of parts of scenes they were, like the cello part, like on the lake with the car chase and everything. Yeah. Not your cup of tea then. No, that is a shame. So, um, so that's okay, you know, it's her opinion. So I guess uh, Dalton <laughs> is still yet to, to win you over, but... Uh, first of all, this brings your total score to another three star. Uh, very decent, actually. Uh, and you do know that the other Dalton only did two Bond films. You do know his other one, License to Kill. Yeah. Um, That's one of your favorites. Yeah, it's probably my, my <laughs> favorite, um, objectively. I wouldn't call it the best Bond film, but I just like that film so much. So, actually, you've seen all of the Bond films All now. of them, yes. Kind of, yeah. Um, obviously, not all of them have been put on YouTube yet because Quantum of Solace, Skyfall, and Spectre were pre-recorded way back in September 2021 already. Yeah. That's how long it was ago. 
and that's still yet to come up to the channel because we did that before the release of No Time to Die. Yes, I We're just going to finish the movie reactions in this format, so all the Bond movies coming after this one are still going to be up, but from License to Kill to Casino Royale are going to be a second time watching for her. But the good news is she doesn't remember anything about them. So, um, is there anything before we uh, finish this of this video uh, you remember about License to Kill next time? Just to give the viewers a little preview of how much exactly you remember. Well, I for I forget the film like when I saw it, then it's okay. So <laughs> you have no idea anymore. Uh, I think with the sharks. There was a shark in there. That's about what you remember, right? She's still thinking about it. So <laughs> that's good news because <gasps> the drugs. And the drugs, yeah. yeah. That, got, that had to come from far. So next time you will see another movie reaction uh, of me and Lyrit. A second time watching, a semi-first time because he forgot about most of it anyway. Maybe if we start the movie and I'm in the movie, I think, oh yes! Yeah, it will, there will be a lot of oh yes in the next couple of five episodes. Probably. <laughs> so, see you guys in the next video. Bye! Woo!